Hey guys, Dark with Cyclone FPV, and I'm going to go over a real quick build here on the uh, ARC 175, also known as the, uh, the Fighter 175. Uh, it's, a, it's a small frame. You'll see it on our website under the 4-inch frames. And I had a customer, sorry, let me adjust this real quick. So I had a customer ask me if the new Zeus uh, 35 would fit on it. So instead of just answering, I'm going to show you the build itself, and we're going to go through that, okay? So let me go ahead and split screen this up. Uh, and this is going to be a first-time build on this for me with the uh, frame. So any screw-ups, just... Have patience, okay? So here we go. So here's our frame. I've got the Zeus over here, and we're just gonna get started on this real quickly. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and start mounting uh, these standoffs. So we'll get to that. What is that, the FA government agency? What's that about? Well, When's this symposium? Yeah. Oh, Ryan's sitting right beside me, by the way. You want to say what's up? And in here, there's Ryan. Hello. <laughs> he's, he's, he and I are both excited to get into our new building. <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, darn it. We might have offices then. All right, anyway, so what's up? What is that? I was trying to find something about designated fields. Oh, yeah, there, it's, uh, well, I tell you what, there is, I have been getting more questions of people saying if I'm going to issue a response. So, you know, I think we're just going to have to do that. Um... We'll see. It's a sensitive subject. Yeah, it is. <laughs> everybody's a, everybody's up in arms. It could put us out of business. We could be broke, man. We might have to live on the streets. Well, we get that oh my gosh! <laughs> we can get a, our field. I'm just, it's, I, I guess I'm, I'm kind of picking because I mean it's it's like the end of the world is how it's being described, and I just keep thinking, what did we do before all this? We'll see what happens. Yep. At the very least, we could just buy go-karts and paintball guns and drive and shoot each other the whole time. While That'd be fun. You know the kids would like it. So, I mean, like, you know, there's no loss on that part. Let's do both. Man, now you're talking, baby. <laughs> now you know. Now you're in. All right. So, let me see. Uh, okay. So, we're going to go ahead. So, there's our standoffs, by the way. Sorry, I'm being distracted by my own stupid thoughts here. Let's go ahead and get this lined up. One will go here, uh, one will go here. Juice are like that. And then we will try to hopefully get these to fit through these slots. It's usually, there we go, oh, that fits nice. Yeah, look at that, that came out sweet, you know? Uh, these fit really tight, so the cuts are better now than they were, you know, the other ones that we got. All right, so that's good, so that fits nice. So now we're gonna go ahead and remember, we're gonna put these on to where the, uh, this uh, extended piece is facing outward and not inward like this. So um, Ryan and I were looking at this together and I think we've come up to the conclusion you can put it either way, but we're going to put it with wings inside or arms inside. I am getting a phone call right now. A FaceTime phone call. Cannot answer, guys. I apologize. I am in the middle of a video, but I will get back with you shortly. Now it's ringing everywhere. <laughs> Get this lined up. Darn it. Yeah, I guess you can go inside. You know, I mean, like, I really, it does take up a lot of space to do it that route. I can't imagine. But it wouldn't make sense. I mean, I don't know. We'll go this way for now. I don't think it's going to be any harm to it. But you can go either. You can do it either direction. Let me go ahead and do this. Okay, so we'll put one in. I kind of tighten it down just to make sure it pull in there. And then we'll do the next one here. So, Tom, you guys leaving on, uh, you're leaving Sunday, right? Yep. Tom, you're leaving? Flights at four. Oh, you're flying. Mm -hmm. Oh, right on. Wait, four, oh, four in the afternoon. Oh, yep. why did I think you're leaving early in the morning for something? I don't know why. I guess I got that wrong. That's good, man. Yeah. That's once a year, right? Um, is it the same time every year? It's getting to be um, once a year now. Yes, once a year. Right on. It's an annual, it's an annual checkup now. Right on, right on. She likes going? 
Oh yeah, she she loves it. Yeah, I bet they treat them good, huh? Yes, they do. It's That's cool. awesome. So shout out to St. Jude, awesome place, right? Yes, yes shout it out. is. Tell them thank you. Oh yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yep. Save save my daughter's life. <clears throat> yes, sir. No, I put that on. No, that's right. I don't know what I'm doing. Here. She's walking like elephant upstairs, right? I mean, you just hear boom, boom. Okay. So the question was, will the HCLRC Zeus 35 fit? So the answer, I'm, I'm putting this frame together just because uh, I hadn't had one built yet um, to show for demo. So I'm going to do it real quickly. Uh, and like I said, I really think that it's going to be able to go either way, depending on how uh, how tall the stack is that you're using. Um, if you need more room inside here, because um, everything lines up both directions either way. OK, uh, however, for now, we're going to go this route. I'm going to finish the assembly, but you'll be able to see real quickly. I'm going to show you the Zeus 35 right here from HTLRC and I'll do a full build soon. But um, so here it is right here. And. The question being is, how would you lay it out? So depending on how you want this to lay out now, obviously, uh, the only the only downside is if you're trying to lay it out this direction so you get uh, access to it, then your standoffs are going to get in the way. However, if you want to lay it out this direction, uh, then you would be able to bring your motor wires up or at the very least, you would most likely remove these two. So we're going to do both of them and, and show you exactly what options you may have. OK. Um, so let me put this next piece in. I'm going to pause this real quick and I'll be right back. Let me put that right there. All right, so we're getting back to this real quickly, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. I had to take a step away here, so if this video starts up kind of jumpy, it's because I had to cut back in. I had a call coming in I needed to take. All right, so we'll get the next screw sets in here. Tell that for. Oh no, so it's something about a, a drone charging pad. It looked interesting. That's going to try to read on it, but uh, the page won't load. All right, so we've got our base in, our arms in, extremely solid. Uh, so let's go ahead now and open the, uh, get the Zeus part, uh, the, sorry, the Zeus part going up here. And like I said, it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit depending on how you want to do it, but. Uh, Assuming that this is going to be to the rear of it, you can, if you want to get it through your USB, you can this direction, I suppose. Uh, it will, it does look like it's going to fit. Um, the other option would be to go in the centers here and remove the uh, standoffs right here. So we're going to try either way. Um, but let me put the plate on first because I want to see how much strength we have on this. So it is a pretty thick, it looks like it's a two millimeter uh, plate on the top. So they've definitely made this pretty thick. Um, and I think you can probably get away with not having uh, these pieces. So let me just kind of, but I wouldn't have a problem if I point the USB to the back. I don't have a problem with that um, either. So we'll do, we'll try both fronts and just see what happens. Okay, so if we went this route, then we would be able to fit 
without any issue at all, right? Uh, so let me get some, let's see how long these screws would be. Yeah, that'll work. Grab that one. Thank you, sir. I guess I'm trying to see if they give you all the hardware, and I guess HTLRC isn't giving all the hardware anymore like they used to. But that's right. Let's see what we got. Okay. So. Yeah, that'll work right there. So I'm gonna use 16 millimeter screws right here. And we're talking about 16 millimeter M2s. Uh, that one doesn't look like, I think I've damaged this screw before, so hold on, let me throw that out. Get another one. Actually, I think the other one's an 18 millimeter, not a 16. Let me get that out there. Go with an 18. Now, that, I just put a 16 in now, and it looks kind of short. So we'll go with a, an 18 mil. Let me see how that fits. That's 14, uh, 20, 20, five. here's 18. Let me see how these are. I think the 18 will probably be best. So let's try that one. Uh, that other one must have been a 20. But I think 18 will be just fine too. If, if you're not putting anything else, uh, if you are gonna put a VTX, then you can do one of two things. I would, if I'm gonna put a VTX, I would most likely go with a uh, 20. And you can see that it is um, going to need to be extended some. Plus you're gonna have to have uh, um, the uh, soft mounts here put on. So let me adjust this real quick now that I know which way I wanna go. And I'm gonna assume that you're gonna put a VTX, right? So let's just go with a uh, 20 then and bypass the 18s even. And here's how I'm thinking to do that and still have room. Perhaps we'll go this route. So let me get a 20. And we've got a 20 in here. I'll put a 20 over here. Yeah, that's gonna be about right, I think. Okay, so I'm gonna use a, uh, I'm gonna fasten it here and just use like a nylon uh, fastener right here. Let me get the, uh, all right, so there's one, and then let's do that, two, okay, and then let me put these 18s away. Are you fascinated? <laughs> it's <laughs> they haven't blinked. <laughs> I what were you gonna say? So you put your VTX, your ESC VTX. ESC is built into the board. Okay. It's an all-in-one board, and all you need to add is your VTX in order to complete the deal. So it's the ESC and flight controller in one. But they, uh, it's got a. It's a 20 by 20 bolt pattern. Um. Holy moly, that took forever. All right, get my last one here. So there you got it so far, right? So now here's our Zeus, and here are the soft 
mount. So we're going to go ahead and add these real quickly. Careful not to puncture these, so if you can, just use a, make sure to not use an M2 hex uh, tip, use an M3 like this one, the way it doesn't tear through it. Let's get one more out of this, there we go. Okay, so we got our soft mounts in here, right? So now if you wanted to mount this, mount it and turn it, you would mount it, uh, if this is the front of your quad here, you're gonna mount this because they've got the pads ready for your uh, XT30 or XT60, whichever one you wanna use. If you wanna mount it like that, then you're gonna go this direction. So let me just get that on there. And I did use, I thought I did, I thought I used, uh, this screw looks like it's an 18 and not a 20. I thought I used a 20 on all of them. I must have, usually these are color coded, but I hadn't sprayed these yet. So let me put this in the 18, or I thought I used a 20. I must have used the 18, so let me get that out of there real quick. We've got plenty of room from the bottom here uh, so that it's not going to touch the carbon fiber. Let me just get this screw out of here. I'll have to measure those again. Let me just verify here that this is the right length I need right here. Yep, that's it. Put this one in instead. All right, so there we go. Now we go ahead and do it again. This time with the right side screws, so let me put all these away. Okay, there we go. All right, so in this case, what I did is I took out the, uh, uh, the second row of, um, of uh, supports there, uh, but I'll be honest with you, this is a pretty thick plate anyway, and I don't think you're gonna have a single issue with that. Uh, and that's how it's gonna sit, right? So if you wanted it to where you are aiming with the USB out, that's fine. You would take the slots out. If you wanted to put it this way where your USB is towards the rear of the craft and you can just um, uh, bring in your cable this way. So for example, if I'm sitting here with this and I wanna plug in my USB and I've got this on, I've got my LiPo coming out the side and I can just go in this way, okay? It's not, uh, it's not a big deal. So to me, I don't see any issue with going, setting it, mounting it this direction, okay? Um, so in either case, I'd say either way, uh, this is gonna work. Now I'm gonna leave it like this because this is how I would most likely fly this one. And I also wanna see, um, I wanna see how much space I have between the standoffs here and the actual motor pads. And I think I've got just enough uh, to make this work without any issue at all. But I'll give you my recommendation here on to what I would do for that. 
And it's the same thing I do for anything that has a very, it's, that's very close to the standoff, and I'll show you here in just a second, okay? So let me just finish putting these back together. So we know that it can go one direction. Now what we wanna do is, let's look at the other way and make sure that we're okay with that. So for that, I'm just gonna fully assemble this now. And then I'm gonna show you, when I do end up putting a um, ESC or anything and it gets that close, uh, the easy fix for that, or the easy way to not worry yourself over damaging it, is to drop a small piece of heat shrink over the uh, standoff. So we're gonna do that real quick and I'll show you exactly how that ends up and then you really have nothing to worry about. But let me show you. All right, so there's how it would be built normally, right? This is gonna go for the top piece here, okay. Let me get this USB out of the way. So now, um, what I would do is I would go ahead and just take like, a, you know, any color that you, any color that you like. Uh, let me see, I'm gonna try to grab something that could, uh, where's my, there's a color that I wanted to use and I can't find it right now. Uh, let me see. I guess I'll just stick with, I'll use a black one for now. So let's see, let's see. Okay, so if I wanted to, what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll take just enough. So I'll cut this in half, okay, which will give me all the way up there pretty much. So I'm gonna cut this in half. All right, and I'll put it on like that, like that. And I'll take the next one. I thought I got two of them out, I guess. I don't see it. So now let's go ahead and turn on the heat gun. Get this to shrink down a little bit. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Never mind, hold on. That's me being stupid, sorry. I realize now why it's shorter is because I put on, so I'm gonna save this one with the heat shrink and I'll put the actual right height one on. It's my fault. The one that goes where the camera would go is narrower. I just didn't, wasn't looking at it when I grabbed it. Okay, so there we go. Let's grab another one of these then. Got it. But I'll leave that one up there because it's going to get scratched away being that it's on the front of the camera. You'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. All right. Let's go ahead and heat this up. All right. It's going to hug this real good. So, I mean, that's going to make a really nice tight fit right there. And we'll continue that process throughout all of them. All right. There we go. Okay. And we'll go ahead here. There we go. Okay, so now we've got it on, we've got these on and we've got the aluminum secured away from it. So now, like I said, if you wanted to mount this to where it went out the back, you could, and you'd be just fine. You'd, be, you'd have enough room to bring your wires either underneath or above. Uh, no problem there at all. So then if you wanted to fasten at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and put these on for the time being just to hold it in place. All right. Uh, I guess I only got two of them out. I don't know where the other ones are, but this is just to make sure that the board stays in place for right now. You know what? Let me do two more. I can't do it like that. Let's do another one here. And if I was going to put a VTX, I have enough room to put the VTX with no problem. So I think we're good either way. Let me just go ahead and get this done. Sure, they're even. They are, and I'll do one more. And there we go. Okay, so there we go now, and you have plenty of room. I don't know if you can see that, but definitely have plenty to the back and to the front. Uh, we're looking really good right here, so that's not going to be an issue. Sorry about the sunlight, guys. There you go. So you've got room either way, depending on how you want to do it. Um, now I'll just finish the build out real quick. Give you an idea of what we got here. Oops, that's not the right way. Sorry. There we go. There we go.
take that off for now so I can just, I'm not gonna heat shrink it right now, but if you wanted to, that would be easy to get done. All right, and there you have it. One more screw and the system is done. And then and the frame is assembled with the Zeus inside. And like I said, you've got two ways you can mount that Zeus, um, but uh, I don't see any issue with this way either because I can bring my uh, the wires from the motor up and they'll solder inside right there and right here and you'll have plenty of room, okay? So now to look at the, the remainder of this, I'll put the battery uh, pad on here. Let me get these pieces out. Let's just do it like this. There we go. Whoops. I did not get that all off of there. Let me do that again. Actually, I think that's fine. Okay. Let's line that up. There we go. And then you can just poke out these inserts here. I put it on there we go but in either case okay and we got one more here and there we go so there it is right there guys um, it looks pretty clean uh, I'm really happy with this frame the arms are super thick uh, and to give you an accurate uh, measurement on the arms here uh, we've got about uh, probably a little over four millimeters in thickness on the arms and then on the plates here we've got a little over two actually on the plates just a little over two so I assume that it's just it's intended to be two but there's always a plus or minus on that uh, and I believe that's gonna be the same for the um, yeah, it's gonna be the same for the camera mounts as well so there you go with the Zeus 35 inside again now to look at how this would be to um, access the USB on it uh, you could depending on how you've got this mounted you could easily just bring the USB in here and you would be able to plug right in okay just like that all right so you would have no problems there uh, let me see. I didn't. There you go. Sorry. I just want to make sure I get that all in. So there you go. So you can actually access it this way and still keep everything the way it needs to be. And then your um, power would come out here. And that way you can have all four mounts still in. Or you can take those four mounts out and then turn it sideways if you want. There you go. Let me uh, switch cameras here. There we go. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the, uh, the uh, fighter, the ARC 175 that you find under the four inch frames and kits section of our website at cyclonefpv.com and that is a Zeus uh, 35 the new Zeus board from HGLRC uh, with a 2020 volt pattern that fits on this okay if you have any questions please hit me up at uh, Tark at cyclonefpv.com please subscribe to our YouTube channel and then also follow us on Facebook other than that guys God bless uh, safe flying have fun spend time with your family you never know how much time you've got left so enjoy it while you can and we will see you soon and to Ryan have a safe trip to St. Jude Best to your family. We'll see you next week. Thank you. All right, guys. Peace out. See you. Bye.